Give all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh. By Shem Yahu Shai, by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to Hakim out there pushing his word and true sincerity. So I want to do this small lesson about uh, you know, just just the atrocities of you uh, you so-called white people. When we say so-called, meaning you're not, that's not your name. That's not your true name. Your biblical name is Edom. Or you're the Edomites. So we we call you so-called because you took that that name upon you to call you white, All right? And you're and you're nothing but the the devil that the Bible speaks of. And we're and you know in this article, I have all right. Cause you know you, Esau, you're being uncovered, man. You're being uncovered for the demon that you are. Okay, so look, this article is about where black children used as alligator bait in the American South. All right, and yes, they were. All right, it says tales of youngsters chained up as alligator bait. In the deep south of the 1800s and early 19th centuries, uh, uh, bespeak the United States racist past. All right. Well, number one, the United States was uh, established on racist principles. It was established off the blood, okay, of the Native American Indian, okay, the Native Indians, okay, the Seminole, the different tribes. All right. It was established off the the, the Aztec Indian, so to speak, the, the blood, you know, the the, the Mexicans. Did you call the Mexicans when you start going more to, when you start going more west? All right, then the so-called Negroes were brought over here to serve hardcore bondage. All right, and and this is how you were able to build up your city. This is how you're able to live nice and comfortable. All right, it's because you came and you conquered colonial colonialism. All right. Uh. So this is a. Uh, oh, let me let me just go right down here. This is an uh, alligator bait. Alligators hunting was very profitable in the 1800s, 1900s. All right, and this is, and they were using Jake. They were using Jake after slavery. All right, that's when they put the most hell on you Negroes. Okay, the skins were used to make shoes, bags, belts, and other items. However, white hunters often often lost their arms and sometimes their lives as they rustled the swampy waters at night, attempting to attract alligators. To the surface so they decided to use slave babies as bait and a so-called white man tries to you know deem himself as holy all right when when the whole time all right he he, he tries to say okay oh we're, we're brothers we're neighbors would you do this to your neighbor would you would you take your neighbor's child newborn and and, and feed it to alligators would you do that the so-called white man has done that you edomites have done that it says the swampy waters at night attempting to attract alligators to the surface. So they decided to use slave babies as bait. This horrendous act was later characterized in sheet music, postcards, and figurines. Later years, a candy manufacturer of black licorice drops created a distasteful advertisement that uh, featured a hungry looking alligator leering at a bugged eyed black baby, man. Okay, the ad reads a dainty little morsel. All right, you see, this is this is what the so-called white man thinks about you. He did, he at no at no point in his mind does he think as you as a, a, a as as a full a fuel a fuel a full human. Okay, he he thinks of you uh, le lesser than a human, and ultimately, really, he he's he's not human. Okay, the word human meaning hue meaning a uh, color, and the word man meaning man or the of earth and he is not he he the scriptures say he is viler than the earth okay the word vile mean hideous ugly a moral morally repugnant okay without without honor all right low 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 born base okay it says for decades um, the popular candy was referred to as nigger babies all right they had a candy called nigger babies okay the name was later changed to nibs and still is on the market today, all right. <laughs> see, you see how all these, the, all these different corporations, are right, they all have their hand in slavery, man? All right, the, the stock market was founded on slavery. These different insurance companies were founded on slavery. Okay, everything was founded off the backs of you so-called blacks, blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Okay, I'm gonna read a little bit more. Uh, uh, alligator bait. Is the term derived from an activity conducted by white men 
mostly in swamps of Louisiana and Florida throughout the South. These white people were sick beyond belief. And you white people, you so-called white people are still sick beyond belief, man. Okay? To the point to where the Lord, he's going to have to exterminate you. Okay? These alligator hunters needed to lure the large bull alligators with human flesh and blood. During the slave era, our ancestors in America were only considered three-fifths of a human being, which is why these sick hunters had no regard for human life. All right? You, Esau had no regard for uh, for human life. You, you Israelites' life. And you continue to love this damn devil. He's the, he's the same devil. All right? And count, countless videos are being shown and exposed on the internet. He's shooting you down in the streets. The, the racist white woman saying, go back to your own country. Get out of the country. I'll kill you. If I had a chance, I'll put you to death. The alligator hunters kidnapped black infants, skinned them alive, and tied their necks to a, a, a string and dropped them into the swamp. All right? Hey, man, any of you, any of you niggas, man, any of you niggas that love the so-called white man, the Lord, he going to put you to death. All right? He's going to destroy you. All right? The scriptures say, though hand join the hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. Esau, he going Esau, the so-called white, he gonna get, he gonna get his his uh his due punishment. Let me let me get let me get a scripture. This is Revelation 7 and uh ugh, 7 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most high have remembered her iniquities. All right, talking about you so-called white people. All right, you have rulership of the planet Earth. And the Lord, he remembers your iniquities. He remember he he actually was there looking at you while you were skinning our, our babies alive. All right. Infants. Okay, having a good old having a good old time. And nobody, nobody, uh, uh 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 there was no bands in your hands, okay? Nobody was there saying you were doing anything wrong. All right, the other nations weren't saying anything. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. So you see how you were you you skin you skin our babies alive? Well, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, we're going to skin your babies alive. The scriptures say, do unto her double. Okay, and, and, and essentially, let me bring out this other scripture. Essentially, the Lord, he's going to allow us, okay, he's going to allow us to do that. Uh, Psalms 1. One forty nine. Give me one second. This is this is a good one. This is a good one too. But might be Psalm 148. Psalm 148. Hold on, give me one second. This, the scripture is uh, escaping me, but it's gonna come. Live on one. Okay, so yep, yep. Slack it, slack it. Psalms one thirty seven. Thirty-seven. Yep, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do the same thing. So let me continue. I got that scripture on the deck for you, devils. It says, "Skin them alive and tie their neck to a string and drop them into the swamp, dangling them near the mouths of hungry seven hundred pound alligators." These black babies were stolen, caged, and fed to alligators whole. The activity is retold in various forms in research documents many found in the Jim Crow Museum of Racist Mem Memorabilia in Michigan okay so you still have these things up man Psalms Psalms 137 and uh 7 remember O Lord the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem okay the day of Jerusalem meaning when we went into slavery all right remember the Lord said remember he's got the the the, the, the prophet David if I'm not mistaken this is David uh, in this psalm, 
All right. He said, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. All right. Who said, race it, race it. And even in, even to the foundation thereof. Uh, o daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. All right. Because you did that when, uh, when the Babylonians had us in, a, in captivity. Okay. You, you were helping out the Babylonians. And now you, you are the new Babylonians. So this says, O daughter of Babylon. Who are to be destroyed. So you're going to be destroyed. The whole landmass of America is going to be destroyed, by the way. Happy shall he be that reward of thee uh, as thou hast served us. So we're going to be happy how you have rewarded us. We're going to reward you. And, and, that, and, that, and that right there, it gives us pleasure to our heart knowing that we're going to be able, the Lord is going to give us into, uh, give you into our hands. Okay, that's the prophecy. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna dash your your, your ugly eat of my babies against the stone. All right, we're gonna skin them alive. All right, according to the scriptures, why? Because look look what you have done. All right, look look what you have done. How how can you say that that's not justice? How could you? Oh, two wrongs don't make a right. Well, this is what the scriptures have to say about it. This is Second Thessalonians one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay, it's a righteous thing for the Most High allow us to, to, to allow us to do everything that you have done to us double. I read the scripture in Revelation. It said, "Reward her even as she has rewarded you." Revelations eighteen and six, and double unto her according to her works. What are some of her works? Alligator babies. Okay, I have this image. Okay. Okay, because you have postcards, or you have figurines, you got candies. You see this? Uh, it was supposed to be a bug, a bug died. They said a bug died, a uh, uh, black baby, infant, with a, with a bugged out alligator. Okay? And not too long ago, there was a, a white baby that got killed by an alligator. You went on a killing spree. All right? So, so, so we're going to, according to the scriptures, and you don't, you, and look, Esau, your ass don't have to believe this. Your bitch ass don't have to believe this. All right? You're going to get it. All right? You're starting to see it now. Are you starting to see these these other nations tell you to get out of their country? Yankee go home. All right, you're you're an occupier in everybody's land. Everybody's land but your own. Let me just let me just read a little bit more of this. Uh, you know you got different pictures, you know alligators, you know, and you and you and you Edomites were uh, were happy about this, man. You were you were happy that you you were able to take us down. Uh. Yeah, that, that's it on that, man. Y'all, you, you know, you brothers can uh, read about it. I'm pretty sure a lot of brothers already know. Uh, let me go to, uh, let me just, I'm, I got these other scriptures. Let me just finish up these other scriptures and we'll close up the lesson. This is uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord power because that Edom has uh, dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. And this is exactly what you did. Or you did this to the so-called Negro. You also did it to the Native American. All right. You also did it to the Latino, all right, the, the so-called Hispanic, and has greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. All right, this is so-called revenge. You, ha you hate us, man. You hate us as a people. You don't even know why you hate us. It just burns inside of you when you see a, a, a Native American, when you see a, a, a so-called Latino, when you see a, a so-called black man. All right, it, it burns. You want to you kill us. Thus said, thus said the Lord power, I will stretch out, stretch out my hand upon Edom. Edom is you so-called white people. And I'll cut off man and beast from me. And I'll make it desolate from Teman and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So the Lord is going to allow us to get busy on you, on you, on you damn devils. Okay? It's going to be beautiful. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know the vengeance of the Lord. They shall know my vengeance, said the Lord power. Okay? So you're going to, you you Edomites, which are you so-called white people, whether you call yourself French, Spanish, British, Dutch, okay, Czech, Rus Russian, American, okay, Italian, Portuguese. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what name you call yourself. Oh, uh, 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 Israeli, Okay? Uh, uh, Tur Turkish. All right. If you if you if you go if you go back to your forefather e Esau, 
all right, all this, all these uh, atrocities that you have done to our people, because everything is in a reincarnation. Okay. Uh, let me get this. Everything is in a reincarnation. It says Isaiah fourteen twenty one. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, and 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 this is the iniquity of your father. Okay. And if you're an Edomite that lives, or say you're an Edomite that uh, that lives in a, 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 a <laughs> one of these European countries. All right. Say you're a French Edomite. Well. Well, you French had a, a, a hand in slavery, okay? Why do you why do you think there's a lot of uh, uh, what, uh, what they will call Gold Coast uh, uh, countries, all right, uh, on the west coast of Africa that speak French, okay? It's because you took them over, okay? What about the Italians? The Italians they had a hand in slavery, all right. All you Edomites had a hand in slavery. The Dutch you had a hand in slavery. The Swiss you had a hand in slavery, okay? All Edomite nations had a hand in slavery. All right, and, and essentially, the prophecy was for your ass to be destroyed. Okay? So it says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, uh, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So uh, there's going to be one point, there's going to be a point in time in history very soon where there's going to be no more Edomites. Okay? And before that, we're gonna round all you Edomites up and quarantine you. All right, we're gonna quarantine you, and we're gonna, we're, and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna proceed to put holy hell on you. We're gonna proceed to put the the anger of the Lord, the anger of the Lord on you. Okay, the we're gonna proceed, yeah, to put the anger of the Lord on you. Okay, uh, uh, through through His men. All right, by beating your backs, by skinning you alive, by scalping you, by uh, by pushing you off cliffs, by experimenting on you, opening you up, no anesthesia needed. All right, by burying you alive, all right, by your by your head being chopped off, by you being uh, uh, chopped off into pieces, and then uh, and then and then sent out to different uh, different uh, Israelites, okay? All right, with postcards. All right, we're gonna have bonfires with Edomites. We're we're gonna have bonfire. We're gonna have picnics. All right, because the the, the word picnic goes back to the word picking pick a nigga. All right, where you go and uh, 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 castrate and hang, burn a, a so-called black man. And you you have apple pie, you have bar you have a barbecue, and you invite the whole the whole neighborhood, okay, man, woman, and child, and none of, and none of you did anything about it. You had a smile on your face, okay. All right, so the Lord he's he's preparing slaughter for you, for I will uh Lord says, for I will rise up against them, said the Lord of hosts, and I'll cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, and the son and the ne nephew, said the Lord. Yeah, so you're going to be totally destroyed. This Ezekiel thirty five and five. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of the calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Okay? Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Alright, so you Edomites, the only thing uh, uh, that you have coming for you is blood. Alright, there is going to be no peace uh, to you Edomites. There is no peace, there's no peace unto the wicked. Okay, so since you since you have done this to us, the Lord is going to allow us. Uh, the Lord is going to allow uh, us to, to do this to you. Let me bring out this scripture. Let's open up another. The Lord is going to allow us. To get busy on you devils, man. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Okay? You see that? So we're gonna we're gonna break in peace, you damn devils, all right, by the force of the sword. All right, by by bash by bashing your head into the stones, your children. Okay. Okay, by uh, 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 by by putting putting your putting your um, your wife your wife to death in front of you with your newborn children inside of her, or cutting her stomach open, letting the baby fall out, seeing seeing what type of uh see seeing if it's a boy or a girl. This is the exact same thing you have done to us. So whatever you do, the Most High says it is a righteous thing to recompense that. Okay, it says, and I will and and with thee will I break in peace the horse and the rider. And with thee will I break in peace the chair, the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in peace man and woman. 
and with thee will I bring in peace, old and young. All right. And with thee will I bring in peace the young man and the maid. And and also, and will also bring in peace with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I bring in peace the husbandman and a yoke of and a yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And with and, and I will render unto Babylon and all the inhabitants of the Chaldea, of Chaldea, all the evil they have done in Zion in, the, in your sight, said the Lord. You see that? So the Lord, he's against you. He's gonna allow us, he's gonna allow us to break you in pieces. And and, and literally, all right, we're gonna break your bones. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna clog your arteries, okay? We're gonna we're gonna put you to work. All right, and then we're just gonna we just we're gonna feed you the lions. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make a sport of you, or right, so to speak. And we're gonna have spiritual power during that time too. All right, so we're gonna know what's what's going on. We're gonna know if there's any uh, 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 uprisings, any Edomite rebellion, and we're gonna smash it to the point after a thousand years of you serving this hardcore bondage, because we had to serve that bondage. We weren't supposed to go into slavery, okay, Esau. But we have drunk that cup. So we, are you all together that shall not go unpunished? You are you are going to drink that cup, that that cup representing that slavery, that indignation, the righteous indignation of the Lord. All right, the Lord He's going to put His anger on His men, okay, to to render His recompense, okay, for touching the apple of His eye, all right, for for being proud, for speaking up against Him. Okay, let me just end end off with this this scripture. Revelation thirteen ten: He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So you Edomites, you have to go into captivity. Just, just deal with it, all right? Just deal with it, okay? We have to deal with it. And what do you tell us? Get over it. Go back to Africa if you don't like it. Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, here it is. Your, 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 your bill, here it is. The, the, the waiter's coming. You finish the big-ass meal. You're just going to walk out of the, uh, the you're going to walk out of the restaurant. You had a 10-course meal. The tab, you, ran, you just ran the tab up. You bought everybody food. You brought all you brought all your whole family. You brought your you brought your whole nation. All right. You just you ran you ran up the bill. Here it is now. So you about to leave. You see the waiter coming towards you, and you you don't want to pay. You getting mad. Here's the waiter with the bill in her hand, coming to serve you that bill, and you don't want to pay. You you make every excuse not to pay that bill. So you know what Esau, you're gonna be forced to pay that bill. And what happens when you don't pay that bill? Okay. They they, they grab your ass up, and then you got you're in the kitchen. Okay, working it off. And that's what's going to happen. And you're going to work it off by your blood, by sweat, and by tears. Okay, by pure agony. And you're not going to have. And you're not going to have any prophets that are going to be set up and eat them. All right. <laughs> if you do have any prophets, it's because we raised up a prophet. All right, a, a, a deceiving, lying spirit. All right, to, to tell you it's okay, to, to give you hope. And then we was going to smash the hope, man. We want to have fun with you, damn devils. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. And this is this is a form. In a form of a uh, 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 alligator baby, alligator bait. Okay, this is a form of uh, of of killing us with the sword. So you you must be killed with the sword. So little Susie and little Billy, your little ugly Edomite baby. I, I man, you ugly Edomite babies. All right, we just go, we gotta we gotta use them for something, man. We gotta use them for something. Okay, all right, we gonna have we gonna have fun with you. All right. Uh, let me get back to that. Let me finish it off. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. So we're patiently waiting this, okay? We're patiently waiting for the Lord to give us that power, to give us give us the go, essentially. The go to do what? The to, to, to beat in pieces the nations, all right. The the the, the leading nation is, is your so-called like so with that, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai by Shimakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to Aki out there pushing his word to choose the city. Okay? A death, death, to, death to every Edomite. Okay? Not only death, but slavery. Okay? And and your children. All right? We're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna be in the neck of our enemies very soon. All right? Ring, ringing your necks. All right? Pulling pulling your head off from your body. All right? Pulling your limbs from off your body. All right? Putting you in, in torture, torture devices. The same thing you have done to us, we are going to do it to you. That is a righteous thing with the Most High, okay. Even if you don't believe it, you don't, you don't want you don't want to accept it. It's going to happen. So pre so prepare for for righteous indignation. Eat them, all right. Damn devil, Shalom.